were you able to keep up with medical school and the demands while, while going through all this treatment? That's what I'm saying. I was so energized. You know, I ate my healthy diet. I had some of these naturopathic therapies that were working alongside of me with acupuncture. It, you know, I really see even in my own patients. And there was just a recent study that was a fabulous study that looked at the impact uh, during chemotherapy of individuals on a plant-based diet. And it showed that it helped reduce fatigue. And that's what I experienced. I had severe anemia, but uh, I, I never lost that energy. Did your, so I think, did your professors and classmates know what you were going through? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I had lost all my hair. So they were very supportive that my professors and my classmates would bring my test to me at the hospital so I could take my tests. Um, I would continue to study. And it just gave me my purpose. What else was I going to do during this time? Sit and think about my illness. I didn't think about it once. I stayed very busy. Um, I would recommend that for everyone you know, stay authentic to yourself. Don't let the disease define you. Let the disease elevate you. Use that as kind of lever to, to grow. And we know that there can be post-traumatic stress disorder. And that's very easy to fall down that path, but there can also be post-traumatic growth. And so I was just very blessed to be able to have that awareness and kind of that internal self-guide to take me towards that place of post-traumatic growth. And that's exactly what happened. You know, I have deep belief in God. I have strong faith. And I think that knowing that, hey, I can't change this. I so deeply believe in acceptance and peace. You know, my heart and my soul had peace, acceptance during this entire time. I had no turbulence perhaps because I didn't have a family or children, you know, it was only me. If I died, yes, my parents would have been very, very sad to have lost me, but it was just me. So I was okay with my mortality, even at a young age. And I still am today.